Hello guys, my name is Adli Modestin. Today I'm going to show you how to build an application using Visual Studio. This application, I will show you how to filter a grid view using a text box. Therefore, in the application I have one text box, one button, and one grid view. I'm going to use them to show the data from that little small table I created. Alright, now let's begin. And here to achieve that, the first thing I have to do is to set up my connection. Uh, SQL connection, let's see here, you can call it anything you want. Add make it equal new SQL connection and uh, you know, set up your configuration manager that connection string open a parent uh, a bra square bracket that connection string again okay that set up my connection for me okay I forget to put my um, parenthesis to close my parenthesis okay I now I have to pass the connection name into that most likely you will have to create that yourself okay you have to create it yourself or you can um, grab a t you know grab the table here and dump it into the view here if you grab the table you dump it here else I'll create that for you okay so um, let's continue mm, come on all right paste that here Alright, so now to um, now we have to program the button click. Now, when the button is click, it'll take the value from the text box and load it into a SQL statement to return a value. For example, now to do that, I have to write a you know a dadio.net code that will do that for me. Uh, first, I have to create a um, a data adapter that will adapt the data data adapter um, I call that DAD equal new data adapter alright and in there that's where you have to put your SQL statement SQL statement alright the reason I the reason I you know do that is because I misspelled that in the database so um, I just fix it here you know I just fix it fix the spelling I um, I need the hometown also hometown F okay from the name of the table is filter TB from filter TB TB where name I'm gonna use I'm gonna pass the name into the text box to filter where name equals single quote double quote a plus sign in the text box name okay that takes a plus a plus sign a double quote a single quote a double quote and comma then you'll pass the connection name you pass the connection name that you have here okay you close your parentheses and close the code session then now I have to create a data set to uh, hold the data okay data set I call it DS equal new data set okay then now I have to fill the data set using the data adapter Alright, so I'm gonna say DAD, which is the data s data adapter field, field the DS, field the data set. That field, the data set. Okay, so now the data set will be filled once the data once the button is clicked. The data adapter will pull the data from the database and fill the data set with it. So now I need to tell my grid view what data source to use. So now my grid view. 
my name is uh, grid filter and it's a grid filter that data by a data um, a data source would equal to the DS the data adapter I mean the data set then I need to buy my grid view uh, I need to also bind the grid view data bind okay once that is done um, I think that is that completed for now I need to also clear the text box once I click the button or once you click the button the text box will be clear okay equal uh, string dot empty all right let's test it and see if it works first let's save it and test it okay something went wrong let me see error what would actually be wrong it says sql data adapter that equal new sql data adapter all right select name description as description i'm turn from filter where name equal this okay dad dot field data set okay what's what's going on here let me see that what's up with this I should have a field ds fill ds it should work perfectly. Did a great view that data set uh, data set. Okay, let's see again. All right, okay. Would you like to continue? Fill the uh, something is wrong. Okay, grid view that data source dad SQL data adapter oh, okay I see instead of data adapter I have data reader okay that was the problem all right that should work now Basically, let's see. There you go. Um, let's put in. Let's see what's gonna be happen. Now, if I put it Adley Madison, there you go. The data are displayed correctly. Let's say Paul. There you go. Then, thank you guys for watching.